Corn Huskers somehow find a way with Mike Rogier on the sideline, his backup. Jeff Smith takes the pitch back up brilliantly executed play by Turner Gill. 24 yards and a touchdown. Now it's a 31 to 30 game. And what does what Nebraska are they doing? do? I have not seen the kicker come on the field, and I don't think he's coming on the field. And I might as well, I think that they've got things going their way. Tom Osborne made this decision a long time ago. Don't think that this situ situation caught him by surprise. He's decided to go for two and take his shot at winning. I commend him for it. This is for the national championship for Nebraska. championship in all probability with an extra point that would have tied it they'd have still finished unbeaten it the courage was so evident there the integrity of Nebraska football and that whole state was on the line they gambled and lost but they're certainly to be given great credit for trying and let's remember this ball game is not over I thought they had some timeouts and they don't what a football game in the golden anniversary year Steve Lynch, the Orange Bowl president. All the people on the Orange Bowl committee had hoped for a great game. There was speculation Miami would be blown out. Everybody here had faith in Tom Osborne. Showed his dignity and his courage going for the win. The Huskers didn't get it though. And now Miami has only to run out the clock. And you know, just like ball games go and certain people are certain things the last play of the ball game number 16 Albert Bentley comes down with the onside kick hey, there have been a lot of great plays I guess the last one's always the most important you know when you're in this business John you always get asked what's the greatest game you ever were at or saw this is it for me and this <laughs> this is about as fine a football game has ever been played and happens to be for the national championship that man has done it all To music. This is Hurricane Warning, number one in Miami. They say the wind is picking up. I heard it just this morning. The flags are being raised because it's a full blown hurricane warning. They're lining in formation, all shining orange and green. Busting butt on their own turf. There's nothing they ain't seen. You just look out, Nebraska. Better hold on to your corn because the hurricane is coming. It's looking like a storm. Rock You can do it now. Knock them to the ground. So much for hurricane warning and now the final 46 seconds of this game. A game that'll be replayed emotionally by these players and their fans throughout the years. A hallmark game in college football. A great demonstration of courage by Nebraska going for the win and for Miami an absolutely miracle year. The dream season as they come back from a bad loss opening day to go to 11 straight wins and in all probability when the votes are in a first ever national championship for the Hurricane. And I'd like to say that the coaching staff, the players themselves, felt they were going to win tonight. They were not, they were not in awe of, of Nebraska. Now most, many of the fans were, most of the writers were, I think anybody who had seen Nebraska play was. But these guys did it because they knew they could. I'll tell you right now, school's out. This place is up for grabs. 